Good morning. I have a lot of running around to do today. Um, so I need to get moving. I am going to do my advent calendars real quick this morning and then I'm going to head out down to my parents. Um, I don't know yet if I'm going shopping with my mother or if I am just dropping stuff off and grabbing things. We'll see. In any event, it's about an hour's drive. So I need to get moving on my day. So the Needle and Fred Advent Calendar. Oh, this is really pretty. So I really like that. Straight up real pretty. We have some more of the really soft gray mystery wool. Ooh, this is lovely. Tees, we have a mystery. Mmm, it smells, it smells spicy. Maybe some sort of apple cinnamon chai. There was a, um, a key letter with them, but it's downstairs, so I don't know what the, I, I don't know what's in this yet, but I'll find out before I drink it. All right. I will chat with you later. Every time I've pressed record in the last two days, it's taken a snap shot picture with flash. So every time I start one of these, I feel like one, I don't know how to work my camera and two, I cannot see anything. Uh, I don't know what I've done, but I've done something. So I spent the whole day running around. I got some video editing done this morning and then I drove down to my parents. On my way down, I pass a post office. The post office was not yet open, but it is one of those post offices that have a traditional blue mailbox outside. So almost all of my Christmas cards are on their way to their various recipients. I have a couple of family members on both sides that I, for some reason, don't have addresses for, so I've poked at my mother, um, and I've poked at my husband. My mother responded. My husband said, are you sending Christmas cards this year? So some, days I, some years I do, some years I don't. Some years I even go so far as to send out a letter. It's been a while for one of those. Um, so that's done. I also borrowed my parents' food saver for um, one of my son's presents. I am giving him steaks. We bought a giant hunk of beef, and I'm going to cut them into steaks tonight. I just put my elbows under the table. Um, sorry for shaking you. So I'm going to cut those into steaks tonight and individually um, food saver vacuum seal them. And then I'm going to wrap them in butcher paper, which I haven't bought yet, and label them disgusting things. Apparently one of his roommates has been um, snitching food knowing that it isn't his. So these will be labeled things that 20-year-old boys don't like, like liver, it's good for you, mom says, and kale chips, <laughs> textured vegetable protein. Which will be believable because my son's girlfriend is a vegetarian, so it's not unreasonable that he'd have food there to feed her. Um, in any event, I suspect that the boys will get a kick out of it. Um, and hopefully my son gets to eat his steaks. If he shares, that's one thing. Um, <clears throat> so there's that. I was thinking that I would maybe um, take my mom shopping. That did not happen as she had business that she needed to attend to. So I went to their local yarn store, which is very nice. It's Fiddlehead Yarns. Um, 
and then I totally embarrassed myself after picking out the things and finding just the gifts I wanted and successfully buying absolutely nothing for myself. She said, oh, do you have our loyalty card with you? And I said, I think I do. Let me check. And so I go rifling through my wallet and I find my yarn loyalty card and I handed it to her and we both looked down at it and realized that it was a different yarn store's yarn loyalty card. And she was very gracious. And I said, yeah, um, hold on. I, I'm sure I, and I found her yarn loyalty card, but I felt silly. Not that Cream City, which was the yarn loyalty card that I did find, which is my local yarn store. Um, I kind of actually consider both of them my local yarn store, but they're wonderful too. Just, I was at Fiddlehead and I felt stupid for a while after that. Um, I then was going to go to a gaming store, but they weren't open yet. And then I went to a landmark in Kenosha, which is, my parents don't live in Kenosha, by the way. I drove into the net, into a town. Um, Tenuta's. And, oh, it's so wonderful to go in there. They have everything. It is a traditional Italian delicatessen. Not that you can be, like, they're not slicing meat and serving you sandwiches. They have all sorts of olives and sausages and cheeses and noodles and candies and pastas and all of the things you would need to make that and all of the liquor you would want to serve next to it or the wine you would want to serve with it. And like every square inch of it is just filled with interesting, tasty, yummy things. And I was um, reasonably conservative in what I purchased. I actually managed to find some Christmas presents in there. And I got myself a cannoli, which was kind of my first lunch. We were a hobbit today. Um, I was hoping to stop by and see a friend, but um, she was not available. Her dogs greeted me cheerfully. And we were both sad that we missed each other. But I hadn't set anything up because I didn't know that that was going to be a possibility. Um, and then I drove back home. Well, I drove back to my town and hit up a couple more stores, had second lunch, which was Subway. And I'm almost finished with mom taxi duties for the day. A little bit more time on that. So soon it will be dinner and I will knit more. I also have to wrap everything that's under the blanket. There are presents for my husband and presents for the children. And I told my husband that tomorrow he could lift the blanket and put things under there. He wanted me to wrap. So I have to get his presents wrapped and no longer under the blanket of yes, you can come in. No, you can't look. <laughs> so, um, that is where we're at. I am going to get to work. <laughs>